O oh, come, let us worship God and bow low before God who made us. For he is the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have believed in sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God called to Adam and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I hear you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten them from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. To the woman he said, I will intensify the pains of your childbearing. In pain shall you bring forth children, yet your urge shall be for your husband, and he shall be your master. To the man he said, Because you listened to your wife, and ate from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. Cursed be the ground because of you. In toil shall you eat its yield all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to you as you eat of the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face shall you get bread to eat until you return to the ground from which you were taken. For you are dirt, and to dirt you shall return. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. For the man and his wife the Lord made leather garments, with which he clothed them. Then the Lord God said, See, the man has become like one of us, knowing what is good and what is evil. Therefore he must not be allowed to put out his hand to take fruit from the tree of life also, and thus eat of it and live forever. The Lord God therefore banished him from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which he had been taken. When he expelled the man, he settled him east of the Garden of Eden, and he stationed the cherubim and the fire, fiery revolving sword to guard the way to the tree of life. The word of the Lord. I rest my sword and son. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Before the mountains were begotten, 
and the earth and the world were brought forth from everlasting to everlasting. You are God. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight, or as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. In those days, when there again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way, and some of them will have come a great distance. His disciples answered him, where can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this deserted place? Still he asked them, How many loaves do you have? They replied, Seven. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground, and taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a few fish. He said the blessing over them, and ordered them distributed also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets. There were about 4,000 people. He dismissed the crowd and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Dalman Utha, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. I had to chuckle uh, this morning in my prayer as I was reflecting upon all of this that we read today. If, and I'm going to just throw out some numbers, let's say uh, best guesstimate is King David lived a thousand years before Jesus, so a thousand years BC. So let's say uh, Abraham lived, uh, well, let's say Adam and Eve, and for the sake of the story, let's say they're about 3,000 years ahead of David. So let's put Adam and Eve 4,000 years total in front of Jesus, and we are 2,000 years after Jesus, a total of 6,000 years just for the sake of uh, the story. Have we learned anything in that length of time? No. Why would I say that so confidently? Because think about it. Adam and Eve eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Of the knowledge of good and evil. And what do the what is the first thing they do when asked a question after gaining this knowledge? It's their fault. They blame someone else. You just gain knowledge of good and evil, and the first thing you do is you blame someone else. Doesn't that happen even in our day? My gosh. 
I literally got rid of news. I, I, I stopped paying out all of that over the last number of years because everything that happened, no matter what it was, was the former president's fault. People would not retake any type of responsibility. It was always someone else's fault. I saw one where a person was complaining because they had become obese and it was the former president's fault that they had become obese. Can I argue it was any of the presidents in my 50 plus years that made me fat? Oh, not the fact that I eat late at night and I eat unhealthily. No, it's someone else's fault. Have we learned anything? No. Armed with this knowledge between good and evil, we still choose to ask silly questions and do silly things. In the gospel today it said again there was another crowd and they were hungry another crowd and they were hungry and the disciples says, where are we going to get enough food for them another crowd means that there was a crowd prior same thing must have happened prior and what the B team disciples the A team was on vacation, maybe out ministering. We got the B team here. Gee, what are we going to do? Even though you did it the first time, what are we going to do now? And I started chuckling again with that thing. Don't we do silly things? Gee, Lord, I know you've helped me in the last number of times, the last 99 times I've asked for your assistance, your help in my prayer. Oh, gee. You think you're going to help me on time 100? I don't know. I might not have to go to church. I might not have to stop praying because you may not be willing to, to help me. And give or take the years since Adam and Eve to now, have we learned anything? No. In certain instances, individuals have risen above our communal ignorance to point the way toward true and lasting happiness. And that true and lasting happiness can only be found in the presence of God with His Son Jesus, enraptured with the Holy Spirit. So let us today ask God to help us, to help us to learn from our mistakes to the past, to help us admit our mistakes in the present, to help us humbly ask for forgiveness and strive to do better for mistakes in the future. And we'll leave it there. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way, especially those still struggling with the COVID, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video the needs of you here present in our church today we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. Finally, we pray for the repose of the soul of Monsignor Maurice Shields and the consolation of his family for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude the prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
Bless you, you Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work with human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Bless you God. God. Prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the land we offer you, for the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dreams. Blessed be the God of prayer. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the church for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good lives of the church. O Lord our God, who once established these great things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift your heart to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to be made all things. Whom you sent as our Savior and the Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit of born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gave you only people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion. To ask to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all of the saints, we declare your glory. As with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, Holy O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by putting down your spirit upon them like the default, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took willingly into his passion. He took bread out and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that after taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty <coughs> Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father. Lord, your hand, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
honor our as it is now. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious but grant the peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So you await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lay not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious and grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever. Amen. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. And with your faith. Lamb of God, yeah. you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room. Come and say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for all the children of men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul, and the hungry he fills with good things. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy and mighty are your angel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke them to humbly pray. And you, you, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 
the divine grace, protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, who died in your name. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the mother of His sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit and His soul. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary of Soto. Blessed be the holy and happy conception. Blessed be the glory of the Son. Blessed be the name of the ever Mother. Blessed be the angels of the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God and the name of the saints. 